This week's weather word is rainbow. You've seen them. They're pretty, they're colorful, but what are they really up to? I'm storm shear meteorologist Jason Myers. Rainbows are optical meteorological phenomena when light, in this case the sun, is reflected and refracted through water droplets, usually rain. You can only see a rainbow when the sun is behind you and water droplets are in front of you. That's because the light must travel through a raindrop, bounce off the back of it, and back through the front again. Each time the light passes through the water, it's refracted or bent. The same reason a pin appears to be bent or broken in a glass of water, and that white light from the sun is broken up into the color spectrum like light through a prism or that one Pink Floyd album you got lying around. That's why rainbows are always the same color. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Also, Mike Hubble from Facebook asks us, what determines the arc of a rainbow? Is it always the same? Well, the answer to that gets into some pretty serious physics. The angular radius of a rainbow is 42 degrees. If the sun is lower in the sky, you'll see more of a larger rainbow with the peak of it at 42 degrees from the horizon. If the sun is higher in the sky, the rainbow arc will appear to shrink into the earth. And for those of you looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, I hate to burst your bubble, but you're not going to make it. No matter how close you try and get to a rainbow, it's always going to appear at the same distance. So sorry kids, you won't be getting your lucky charms. You can, however, get a little more weather knowledge. If there's a term or weather phenomenon you'd like to know more about, let us know in the comments below, hit us up on Twitter, or let us know on Facebook. See you next week.